Hi, my name is Isabel LaCourse. I'm with Independence Gardens and I'm here today to teach you how to clean and care for your long-handled garden tools. First we're going to go over the supplies you'll need. Always remember to wear personal protective equipment like gloves and eye protection. You'll need a stiff wire brush for getting the large stuck on particles, a scrub brush for getting the finer things off. Most of us have rust on our tools, so we'll want some steel wool and maybe some commercially available non-toxic biodegradable rust remover as well. This is more optional. For sharpening, we'll use a bastard file, which is notched in both directions. We want to do some preventative care, so we'll use some oil, maybe that's a vegetable or linseed oil, to protect the blade just with the vegetable oil or the blade and the handle with the linseed oil. Before protecting the handle, we'll need some medium grit sandpaper. And don't forget your clean cloth. Today we're going to be cleaning a shovel. First, I'm going to put my gloves on. And I've already rinsed off my shovel with the hose and gotten the worst of the dirt out. Also, while I was outside, I was sure to clean out this hole. Dirt really likes to hide in there. So first, I'm going to use my wire brush to get off all the stuff on parts. This might take a while, but I'll know I'm done when there's no visible chunks left on my blade. Now, I'm going to take my scrub brush and just dust off anything that's left over. I'm going to take this opportunity to also dust off my handle. Now I'm ready to remove rust. I'm just going to get in here and buff out anything that's rusted. And just like you might scrub a plate, I'm going to get all the rust I can off. Once my rust is removed, I'm ready to sharpen my blade. If I had a vice grip on a table, that would be ideal, but I don't. So I'm just going to firmly place this shovel between my legs and pin it in place as best I can. I'm going to take my bastard file and hold it at a 30 degree edge angle, 30 degree angle, to my beveled edge and move up and out with the side of the blade. And I know I'm done when there's no chunks or notches out of the blade and I have a nice shiny edge to it. Once my sharpening is done, I move on to oiling. Before I oil the wood part of my blade, my ha handle rather, I sand it down, making sure to remove any splinters or dirt that might be in the pores of the wood. I'm going to be using linseed oil on my wood and blade today. Just be sure whenever you're using a packaged product, especially linseed oil, to read all the warning labels. I'm going to open up my rag, pour a little out, and just wipe it all the way down. And it doesn't take very much, but you can see that nice shine it gives it. I can also use the linseed oil on the metal part of my tool to keep it from rusting. If I wanted to, I could use the vegetable oil on the blade, but I wouldn't use it on the metal or on the wood part of my tool. Once my blade's all oiled, I'm done. I'm ready to store my tool or go out and use it. 